Bye. Bye. This is Truth Goddess Row 777. Hello. Today's read is for Sagittarius. Just for Sag. Sagittarius. Let's begin. For personal reading, Sagittarius, take a look at the description box. I will get back to you in 24 to 48 hours. Be very specific on the type of reading you want. And also give me, let me know what it is exactly you want to know in the readings. I get emails that people just say, hey, I'd like a love reading. But they don't specify exactly what they want to know about a love or a connection or a, a particular person. You have to be very descriptive. That's why it's a personal one-on-one -on -one reading. It's not a general reading. That's why I ask more questions of you guys. So, so you understand if you're serious, give me the information you need or I need so that I can provide to you the excellent service that you deserve, all right? That's why it's a personal one-on-one -on -one reading because I'm going to get to the bottom of what a, whatever question you have, whether it's specifically about your career, about your love life, whether it's a general question. Yes, I, I do get questions that says, hey, can you give me a love reading? Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to do that. But what do you want to know about a particular person, um, a particular event? Just be more specific, you guys, if you're serious. If you're not, save it. So let's begin. Well, speaking of love, there's a reading that I have available for you guys. It is exclusively... Uh, Today, it's a Valentine's reading that I ha I have for you guys. So you guys should check that video out, that message, as well as this one here. Spirit is telling me with this message that there's somebody that's moving towards you. This is a person that has a lot of passion and love for you. Somebody is crying. This person is filled with a lot of love and emotion. This person is filled with um, great passion for you. This is a person that's looking to have a future with you. Um, this is a person who actually left a situation. This is a person who's actually leaving and moving beyond some other problems in a connection that they are already on. And they're on this journey. They want to deepen a bond with you. This person is leaving a connection Right. This connection is due to the fact that this person has all this passion for you. Um, I feel like this person has been thinking long and hard about how connected they are to you. This is their feeling, Sagittarius. So you may not be feeling that way, but this is the energy that this person is in at this particular time. So we have somebody that's looking at their, at their future with you. Um, Obviously, they're in a connection that they're moving away from, and they're ready to come with a lot of just, I mean, this person is so filled with love. This person, it seems that they're going to just explode if they don't tell you this. This is a connection that's coming your way. Yeah. This is a connection that's definitely coming your way. This is why I'm stating to you guys, go check out the Valentine's special reading. Right, because this is a person who feels that you will bring balance in their life and there will be balance in this connection because this person feels that there's a balance between the two of you in each sphere of their life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical. I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and my soul. So this is a person that's very balanced. This is a person who's done the um, spiritual work to find out who they are. This person has a lot of energy in which, again, they're filled with all this love, this passion. This is a person who's looking to marry you commit to you um i feel like this is a person that's a soulmate this bringing that is coming toward you this is somebody that you can trust they're filled with true their intentions are for real they're serious they've been planning this for a long time 
They're looking forward to this union. This sounds like a spiritual guided union. Yeah, a manifestation of light. This is what this sounds like to me. I see the beauty in me and you. I grow and develop my inner self in harmony with light and beauty. I feel, I feel free. I free myself from the negativity, my heart. I transform myself. My intellect shines and my inner light grows. So this is a, a person that is definitely healed. They're balanced. They're ready for love. This is why this Ace of Cups is here. This is a blessing. This is a gift. This person that is guiding, being guided to come towards you is a gift. This person is coming in the near future for you guys. Yes, for sure. Give me more information about this three of wands. So yeah, this, this person may be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. 1717. Hmm. Trauma, merit, independence, a soul mission. I can't make it up, you guys. Clarification for that three of wands. This person is your future, 1717. This is a soul mission, mission as I just is explained. They're being guided to come to you learning healing they they're inspired a soul mission oh my goodness take a deep breath take a few deep breaths and focus inward you need time to think things over and consider your options at this time you must rely solely on yourself you might not believe it but you're heading in the right direction what appears to be a lull in activity is just a natural part of the process. I'm telling y'all, this person is guided to come towards you. 1717 with the three of wands. So they're telling you this is a natural progression that the universe is bringing to you. Wow. And it's definitely going to change your life. It's going to be an unexpected um, adventure or a shift. It's going to be an unexpected shift. This same number came out for my Valentine reading. Go read, go check out that message. Divine intervention. Exactly. So this is a guided connection. It's going to be sudden. It's going to be filled with love. It's going to be a pleasant surprise and gut feeling. You're going to feel your solar plexus is going to just leap. When you meet this person, your, your energy the gut of your solar plexus is going to do flip-flops. I'm telling you, when you meet this person, this is a spiritually guided connection. Wow. Sad. Amazing. So, wow. <laughs> so, this is basically in light of the Valentine's reading, this is a connection that is spiritually guided and this is a connection in which this person has healed they're balanced they're ready you are going to meet someone that is going to be your soulmate and it you guys will have a you you may meet this person while attending a wedding of some sort of festivity some sort of baby shower possibly a wedding a party some event that you're going to be meeting this person. Um, tell us more. Tell us more about this Ace of Cups because it's definitely a love connection. Tell us more about this Ace of Cups for Sagis. Wow. So you guys are getting <laughs> on February 14, 2024. This is amazing. So this is your gift on this day. Spirit is saying that this is your soulmate, your partner. So basically, they have hurt. So th somebody it will be leaving a connection because they were hurt. And I said, once this person was guided to leave a connection, this person has been hurt. What do you see in me? Hmm. This is a person with this Ace of Cups that was in a past connection in which they were wounded. This person at one point in time 
what do you see in me? When this person was hurt, this is a person who lost a lot of faith in who they were. I don't know who I am anymore. So this person, as I stated, they're now balanced. They went through the dark night of the soul. I can't let go of you. So this is a person that's being guided because this person has healed. And now they're making their way to come towards you. They are a gift. Now, I also see a situation because I asked for the Ace of Cups. There's also, I'm going to get something else about this person because we have the tower card here there's also a something that will be shocking when someone sees this new union happen for you there's going to be a shocking event in which someone is coming in to present this present a love offer to you because you have the ace of cups someone being guided by the angels and your um spiritual guides that's got guiding this person to come to you because this is someone that's looking at how this has been a manifestation this has been put together by angels and ancestors to bring you two together it's going to change the lives of both of you. But there's a major change that is very destructive. It's going to be a foundational shift, a reality check of some sort. Hmm. This new connection, once this person comes into your life, is going to bring a reality check to a lot of those people that um, I can't let go of you. So when, when this person realizes that you're, you have a new love, a new connection that's inspired to be focused only to have eyes for you coming in, there's going to be um, a shock to the systems of people. Now, some of these people are now falling in love with you. What What do you see in me? I mean, that's kind of a wild question to ask somebody. I don't know. This sounds like somebody that's not healed. But as you can see, there are some ones that someone else that's guided to come to you because they have balance in their life. They are at peace and they're very tranquil with their decision to come to you so it seems like there's people that will be coming into your life that are still in the dark night of the soul there, there's people who still don't know who they are they have hurt me so you got somebody that's wounded who still fight, feels or needs to heal themselves i don't know who i am anymore so the this is a broken person or somebody that's broken and there's somebody that's balanced and healed. So <laughs> this is a, oh wow, post-traumatic stress. So that this person has PDSD. This is a person that, hmm, they don't even know who they are. So I'm sure the angels and your ancestors have not put together a union that would cause you a lot of stress. This is why I'm saying there are other energies out here, but we know for sure the 1717 and the 0505 is a spiritually guided connection. There's a person who's lost and this you can't heal someone unless they heal themselves. This is a person or in a lot of pain due to someone else's actions so you don't you're not guided to take care of a broken person because they don't even know where to start they don't even know where to start they they're asking you what do you see in them what you see in this person is the fact that they're unhealed this is a person who has never done the work but they can't let go of you because they this is a person that has codependent problems this person 
Yeah, and they gaslight. So this is a person because they have psychological problems. They do gaslighting, psychological manipulation. This is a demon. Can't turn it off. So this person is all in their head, all in their mind. Um, you're going to have options, and there's one option that's just a a distraction. Um, anyone that is still in this energy where they're not sure of who they are, then I don't know what this person expects you to do for them, Sag. That is not an issue that you need to worry about. This person can't let go because they can't be alone. That's what this sounds like to me. Um, let's give this person some advice. Let's do something a little different. What is the advice for this person who can't let go of you? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. God has a plan for them. I live here now and knowing beauty is to come. I don't force things to happen faster than the universe has decided for them. I learn from my experiences. I take small steps in faith and success thanks to all my efforts. So this is what this person needs to do. This is the advice. This person needs wisdom. This person needs to take action and to heal themselves. This is what spirit is saying. Because this person cannot let go of you, it's something that this person has not done to heal and help themselves. Okay. You're guided to go in a direction in with someone who's already healed, someone who's balanced, someone who has manifested a healthy, healing, happy connection with you. So this is their advice. If this person comes to you, I would suggest you guys say this to this person. I can't help you. You have to let go of me. Because you're someone who doesn't even love themselves. You're someone who doesn't even know who they are. You're someone who's coming in a direction that they're looking for you to bail them out. To take on their karma, their pain, their dysfunction. That's not your job. You say to this person, Saggy. Again, God has a plan for you. The most high, God, whoever you serve. Based on this energy, <laughs> I live here now and knowing beauty is to come. This person has to do work. I don't force things to happen faster. See, this person is trying to rush in a connection with you all because of their own trauma with this tower card. They're trying to rush a connection because they're not sure of who they are. So because they're lost and somebody else hurt them, they feel that you're an option. You're not an option. I've done so many reads. You are an empress. You are far beyond this person. This is a person who definitely needs to work on themselves. I don't for force things to happen faster than the universe has decided for me. I learn from experiences and I take small steps in faith and to succeed. Thanks to all my efforts. Again, this person has not made any efforts. So this is what you would tell this person. Get wisdom. Become wise. Know thyself. Love, thy, the, love thyself. Know thyself. And work on the, thyself. Sag. And it keeps coming up. They don't know who they are. Well, that's up to them. And it keeps coming out. It's a double confirmation. There is a person who is very sick and they have mental issues. PTSD is a mental illness in which you should be on medication for. This, per, per, this person has sexual trauma. These feelings are eating me alive. I can't make this up, y'all. So they have a desire to heal themselves through your light. This is what this is, Sag. They know that you would bring balance and peace in their life. So this is a person I feel that does not have true love for you. And as I say that, I can't promise you anything exactly. This person is dealing with their own trauma and they need someone 
safe to lean on. This person is somebody that wishes that you would understand them. Yeah, this person wishes you would be a doormat. Do not allow this person to come back in your life to use your energy and to pull from it and then expound it to somebody else. And then they ask, what is the truth? The truth is this person is a user, an abuser. You get what you put out. This is somebody who has gotten hurt because what they have done to you has come back to them. And it's called karma. And it is called what you do to others returns right back to you. So this person is not somebody that you need to allow in your life because as the card has already shown, this person likes to play mind games, psychological, mental games with people to try to pull on your heartstrings. Do not allow this person to enter back into your life. Spirit has someone that is guided, that is way more healthier, richer in their spirit, in their soul, and you're not going to be guided Spirit is not going to bring someone into your life that's dysfunctional as this person. So this is just someone that you guys will obviously, you need to avoid this person. For some of you, if you choose to go in the direction with this person, this person is somebody that will drain you, will take your life and then go and give it to someone else. Because it's like, this person is all, all I see in these energies is somebody that's looking for a handout. That's what this is. I'm becoming a better person. That's what they say, but make this person prove it to you. Anything else that Saz needs to know? Tell me more about this new person with the three of wands that spirit has coming toward the Sagittarius, the collective Sagis. What is the any knowing? Okay. So this person is talking about they wish things could be different. Yeah. How so? And they look for you everywhere. They wish things could be different. Yeah, they wish things could be different because this is a person that will drain the life out of you, Sagis. But just know that you're balanced, you're healed. I look for you everywhere. This was at the bottom of the deck. So when this person is out and about doing whatever they do, having these sexual desires, having these thoughts, these dreams, these feelings are eating me alive. This person is somebody that's, again, their root chakra is damaged. This person, again, this is somebody who uses sex as a tool to heal themselves and you have a healing yoni or wand and this person wants that energy again Sagis. they do do not allow this person to come into your life to suck your healing energy because you are a healer inside and out right they fear that you're going to move past them and Allow yourself to be in a healthy healing connection in which you will connect to someone that is very spiritual and healed and your light and your yoni and your wand will be in a mutual, healthy, healed relationship. Travel. This person is fearing that there's your future will be with someone else. And let's see, and we're going to close, Sag. What else? Truth, confession, clarity, reveal, and secrets. This person is looking to travel because they fear that the truth is you're going to marry someone else. Yeah. All right. This sounds like a person that had their shot with you. They blew it. And now they want to make a, a return. Someone you may have divorced someone that has these irresistible temptations i'm telling you this person is addicted to sex rebound thank you next this is how this person wants to treat you if they haven't already done it this is what they want you guys were in a toxic love connection with this person 
or this person was in a toxic love connection. This is why they found out the truth when they traveled to see someone. This is why they said, I don't know who I am anymore. They were in a toxic connection. They were used, they were abused and used and kicked to the next. They met this person online. They got a connection with somebody that was very low vibrational, toxic and dark, strong highs and lows. So they were in a relationship that was filled with toxicity, fighting, arguing, and sex. These, these are people who, what they call fucking fight. They, they were rejected by this person. This is why they're suffering PTSD. Yeah, with a thought. They were in this connection, that hoe over there. This is who this person is crying over. Yep. So Sagittarius, the advice for you is to continue to stay focused. What is the final advice for Sagis? Trust. Trust that this union, this new person that's balanced, balanced that is of the light energy. I have two yellow cords. That's happiness, sun, balance, serenity, and peace. Trust. I trust life and my strengths. Each moment guides me to the light. Here we go with the light word again. Yeah. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. Exactly. Spirit, angels, ancestors, thank you for the confirmation. Sagittarius, thank you. Bye.